that was really, really kind of a no-brainer. Um, I love this industry. I love what it can do and what it can can help and educate and, and whatnot. And I always wanted to remain in it. But I am an only child and I had ailing parents. It was becoming increasingly difficult for me to leave town and be gone. When my father passed, I promised him that I would never put my mom in a nursing home and that I would take care of her. My mother's health was failing. So I went, okay, what do I do to stay with my hand in? I had had a production company with my husband back in Chicago. I actually, Burn Piven was the father of uh, Jeremy Piven, and Jeremy was a little rug rat at the time, a little ankle biter. Sorry, Jeremy. Uh, when we worked with his dad. So I knew, I knew production. I didn't have the inroads into the studios here for that, but I sure knew how to negotiate a contract, both because of my own experience as an actor and because of the different contracts we had to deal with when we had our production company back in Chicago. I went, okay, so management. And my manager at the time had asked me to open a youth department for her, which I had done, and grew past it. I will always love the experience and the knowledge and the learning I got from that, but went out on my own at the same time that I had to move my mom back in with me so that we could take care of her um, all the way through Hospice Care, which is a wonderful organization. Donate to it if you ever get a chance. And after she passed, I went, I really like this management thing. I like seeing my clients grow. One of my clients just worked this last week with Clint Eastwood on Hoover. And it was just, a, it was so great to hear it, the, the joy in his voice and the fun that he had working with Clint and it was supreme for him. I really enjoy that. You know, sometimes I'm really sorry I came up with that name because it gets mixed up with so many other things, including Talent Link. Uh, but um, it was to ink a deal, to sign a contract, and it's T-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-K, not I-N-C. And that's how it happened. Yes, we have just opened our real, actual geographic location on Broadway this year. Um, up until now, we've been working both coasts from L.A., which means I'm up at uh, four in the morning oftentimes, and I now have a hired personnel and an office at 1133 Broadway, Suite 708, New York, New York, 10010. For any of you who are on the East Coast, you can send your headshot and resume there. We are building our client list. Actors. Actors in all mediums, uh, triple threats, most definitely. We do not represent musicians. We do not represent producers or directors or writers. We focus specifically on actors. Well, I've always been split brain, part business, part creative. So for me, um, it was not difficult as an actor to handle the business part. I'm amazed at how many actors really, they really need some help on getting that portion of the business together. Uh, staying on top of everything that needs to be administrated, that is their responsibility. Um, I was surprised at that. I was also surprised at how easy it is for me to be able to help and counsel and can constructively censor when need be. The actor part of them, because I understand that reaction, that knee jerk, well, why not me? Well, why did they go with another look? Why did, you know, why? There's no answer. If you made the callback, if you made the chemistry read, other than being booked, you're as close as you're ever going to get. There is no way to explain why the choice wasn't you, as is there's no way to explain why the choice is you. It's a whole bunch of minds coming together to make that decision. It's the executive producers, it's the producers, it's the advertisers, it's everybody in the room making a decision. And sometimes you might really have been the first choice, but for various other reasons, they go to a second or third choice. And that part for me has been really very educational.